One of my favorite ways to decorate a space and just make it look a whole lot more expensive is by using frames. And I have a ton of decor hacks on how I take cheap frames that do not cost a lot of money and make them look a whole lot more expensive. So I'm gonna be going through those with you. It will completely elevate your space and just make it look so much better. First is where I find cheap frames and I have frames all over my apartment. I've searched everywhere for them, so I really know the best places to go. And number one is obviously IKEA. You cannot beat their frame prices. However, I think that IKEA frames are so obvious because they have a very specific size mat. So no matter what, whenever I get an IKEA frame, I always replace the mat so that it looks a lot more custom but they by far have the cheapest frames and then the second place i get frames all the time is michael's they just have insane sales and whether i mean i feel like it's like a cold situation like everything is always on sale so they probably should just lower the price but it just makes you feel really good and the prices are actually really good so like in my living room wall i have a whole wall of frames and every single one of those frames was six dollars which is an insane deal so if you're not getting a frame on sale at michael's don't buy it it's not worth it but that's a great place to get a good price on a frame third place is thrift stores or like goodwill i don't know if this is everywhere but in wisconsin we have st vincent de paul st vincent de paul in port washington for anyone that lives in wisconsin has the best frames ever but just thrift stores in general i love mixing like newer frames or like brand new frames with thrift store frames i think that it makes it look just a lot more collected and not so like new i'm not it's super into like the whole new new look i like things to be like layered in and just for it to have that collected look like i said and then the fourth place that i like looking is target target is probably the most expensive out of those ones it is the most expensive but they have really good frame borders and just like simple thin ones that look more interior designer ish if that makes sense and they do run 15 to 20 percent off sales which are obviously really nice one of my favorite design tricks that i do everywhere in the office in my apartment is to go to the thrift store go to goodwill go to saint vincent de paul if you have that wherever is local for you get a frame that is like a dollar 99 and put gold rub and buff on it I get gold rub and buff from Michaels and a little bit goes a super long way. I love using a foam brush for it. You can do a few coats. It will make your frame look so much newer, so much cuter, not even newer, but just like a higher end antique, which is very in right now. And I have this in my kitchen. I have in the office, I have a whole row of them. Some I leave the natural wood, some I gold rub and buff it, and it just completely makes the frame look new again and just a whole lot better. Also for Goodwill frames, which I'm kind of gonna get this next into the next section, but I change the mat on it and it will just completely elevate the frame. I have been on a major kick with this lately and it really does make the frame look so much more custom. It slightly is a pain in your butt, but it just looks so much better. And that is to change the mat. So no matter what with a thrifted, a thrifted frame, I always change the mat. You can get traditional sizes and it's so easy at Michaels for like $3. A lot of the Goodwill or thrifted frames, even if it's like a white mat in it, it's it's faded or it's turned yellow. So just getting a bright white mat in there will make it look so much newer. But I have been going to Michaels and I get like a huge, it's, it's right in the photo section. It's a huge matte sheet and I will cut it out specifically for the size that I want. And a lot of frames right now, and this is like not even a trend right now. I think it's like an everlasting trend that kind of goes in and out a little bit but is do you have like thick borders on the bottom and then or like behind me we have thick borders right here and right here so like even this right here this wasn't a key or a target frame and it had like the traditional matte before but then i went to michael's i got a huge matte board and i cut it out and then using an exacto knife i cut out the center right here like i said it's slightly painful and just you'll be over by the end of it but it this looks so much more custom and high-end versus if you just use the traditional mat that they have and it's a really inexpensive way to just completely re-up your frame and same as i said before with 
IKEA frames. Every single IKEA frame that I get, I always replace the frame because I hate, I don't know, this is just me probably, but I just hate the, like, the size of the IKEA mats. And you will not even believe the power that the mat holds in the frame. It just, it will make it look like a totally different and more expensive custom frame. I said lastly, but I just have a really quick tidbit to add. I have been so into layering frames. So I'll get like a frame, a larger frame, and then I'll layer a smaller frame on top of it. And that, I don't know why I've been so into it. I just think it looks really good. And if you look at designer pictures on Pinterest or on Instagram, wherever you follow them, you will see that a lot of designers are doing it right now. And it just, I don't know. I think it's that whole collected thing. It just makes the space look a lot more collected and a little bit more like casual in a way. All right, I'm gonna quickly walk you through the different spaces in my apartment to show you how I use frames. So in here, these are the Michael six dollars one. I'm in an apartment, so I use command strips to hang it up. And then to make it look a little more expensive, I got those picture lights at the top from IKEA. They were twenty-two dollars, and then I used gold rubbing buff to make them look more expensive and I just use traditional mats in it. Okay, now let's go to the rest of my apartment. It's kind of messy, so just bear with me. But then in the bathroom, you'll see how I use some Goodwill frames with the rub and buff trick. It's gonna be super yellow lighting, I bet. But this one's actually from um, Target and then BFF Print Shop is one of my favorite places to get digital prints. They're super inexpensive. Also North Prints on Etsy. A good one, so I just printed that out. But this was a Goodwill frame um, that I cut a mat out of and then just printed a picture. Use gold rubber buff for that. So that's how I did that one. We have more layered frames up here Target, Goodwill, with gold rubber buff again. Okay, this is really messy over here, but this is one of my favorites. So these are just two layered frames from Target. And then I do like cute for the holidays, different printables. They're on my website for free if you want to download them, but I just layer them like that. Okay, over here. Okay, then this is supposed to be right here, but we use that plug. This is another Goodwill frame that we gold rub and buffed. You can see that there's clearly a trend with that one. And then in here we have these. These are Target frames and we cut out new mats for them. So like I said, you saw this, so I don't even need to go over that, but new mats for that black and white photos. This is a Goodwill frame, Target frame. I just used a traditional mat for this one, so we didn't even cut that one. We just bought that. We bought this from Michaels, and that's probably dirty. And then this is the North Prince um, one from Etsy for $4. Yes, yeah, You so can cute. buy that from. Okay, this frame's getting changed because it's way too big, so I'm actually gonna change it today. I don't like it at all. But this is from Ikea, and we quickly put it, it just looks like, but um, we cut this mat out of it and you know, that's the lowest of the apartment <laughs> ones. But that's just how I've used frames in my own apartment. And then in the office, we have a whole layering action that we can show you right now. So that is some of my decor hacks and how I make cheap frames look expensive. These are, they're simple things, but they really will completely elevate your space versus just using the traditional frame that you buy anywhere. It'll make your space look a lot more professionally decorated and a lot more expensive. For more decorating tips, organization tips, cleaning hacks, make sure to follow my Instagram at Lee and subscribe to my channel.